Hi everyone, Olivia Reiner here for Packers News, joined by Jim Ozarski. It's the Wednesday leading up to the Packers game against the Jets in New York. There's been a lot of injuries. Yeah. <laughs> the Packers slowly feeling that battle of attrition that the NFL unfortunately is, especially right. at this point in the season. Aaron Rodgers did say today that he plans on playing yeah. Sunday. Joe Philbin has said all week that if he's healthy, he's going to play. Right. And he said that for every player. Now, looking sort of at the offensive line as well, there are some injuries. Brian Balaga, however, did practice today. This is his first time back in practice after quite yeah, after a few two weeks. weeks. Yeah, yeah so, so he's back. Uh, however, Lucas Patrick and Jason Spriggs both did not participate, at least in the open portion of practice today. Right. So uh, Alex Light, on top of that, not an injury, has been yeah, suspended right. for a game so we won't see him until yeah. after New York. So it's it's kind of interesting on the offensive side yeah. of the ball, definitely lacking some players, including Aaron Jones, who has just moved to IR. Right. So what are the Packers going to be doing at the running back position in his absence? Yeah, it's, it's a little bit of a rewind all the way back to weeks one and two when Aaron Jones was suspended. So it's Jamal Williams. Um, you know, the team claimed Capri Bibbs off of waivers, fifth year veteran. He's been in Denver and Washington. Uh, Danny Vitale, of course, is, is a fullback, but um, look, it, it's going to be Jamal Williams, you know, and he's looking forward to it. He, he, it's interesting, Olivia, because he has seen your tweets. He has heard the noise um, and not that it bothered him, but let's say that, you know, scoring a 20 yard touchdown run and, and, you know, running 4.6 yards a carry against that Chicago defense, he's he said, hey, you know, take that a little bit. Um, so Jamal Williams, and he's looking forward to that. I mean, he, he thinks, you know, he's a good player. And while Aaron Jones is explosive dynamic, uh, Williams is fairly confident he can provide that as well these last two weeks. Yeah, well, he had a big game against the Bears. I think we all yeah. sort of anticipated that he might have a big game, but maybe more on the blocking side right. of things because that's what we saw him doing more in, in week one. So, yeah, he yeah. had to play a big role. And he's going to have no choice but to play a big role the last two games. Right. So we'll be interesting to see what they end up doing there in the running backs rotation. Uh, hopefully you'll learn something new today. We appreciate you guys joining us. We'll see you next time.